the game industry is feeling the economic squeeze. Uh, <clears throat> we're not quite in a full-blown recession yet, but signs are already pointing to the economic downturn hitting the tech and gaming sectors and entertainment at large. Now, a new report from Ampere Analysis forecasts that the game industry might shrink 1.2% this year to $188 billion globally after two years of massive growth. Okay, here we go. Maybe this is why we are, we're not seeing as many AAA games coming up. Uh, 2022 has been a tough year for gaming uh, and for Stadia. A number of factors have co uh, coalesced to make this year an especially rough one for game makers of all varieties, from hardware sellers to platform owners to publishers and developers, big and small. There we go. After a very promising start with releases like Elden Ring, Horizon Forbidden West, and Pokemon Legends Arceus, the 2022 calendar has slowed cons considerably due, to, due in part to delays of major first-party games from Microsoft, Sony, and Nintendo. After two years of huge expansions, the games market is poised to hand back a bit of that growth in 2022 as multiple factors combine to undermine performance. Wrote Piers Harding's roles, a researcher, a research director with Ampere. These factors include not just the lack of new releases, but also supply constraints on hardware like consoles and controllers, inflation leading to higher spending on food and gas, and a rise in experience experiential spending as pandemic era. Uh, restrictions loosen, loosen as we progress through a period expenditures right Exp experientials i don't know as we progress through a period of heavy inflation which an increasing cost of living squeeze and a higher potential for a recession it is inevitable that the games market will be negatively impacted in certain areas and fears reports read the game industry is starting to respond to the slowdown. It boomed in 2020 as consumers spent more time indoors and directed their discretionary discretionary income towards home entertainment. But gaming isn't recession-proof, and many companies are finding out that the hard way that uh, uh, make are finding out the hard way that they may have grown too fast while consumer spending hasn't kept pace. Both Niantic and Unity laid off employees uh, last week with Niantic letting go of 8% or about 90 people and Unity letting go of 4% or about 200. Oh my gosh, 8% is 90 for this company, but 4% is 200 people for that. Niantic CEO John Hankey said the layoffs and project cancellations, including its Transformers game, would best position the company to weather any economic storms that they, they may lie ahead. A number of gaming and entertainment-focused tech companies have frozen hiring or lowering their uh, financial forecasts, including Electronic Arts, Meta, Microsoft, Netflix, and NVIDIA. NPD analyst Matt Piscatella said a return of experiences uh is now impacting share of time and wallet going to gaming as we as well as higher prices in food and gas and other everyday spending categories categories hidden size of wallets available for gaming yeah i i didn't buy more games during the summer sell because man i'm unemployed uh my wife only has a few weddings here and there and uh and everything's crazy expensive and i'm in hawaii but Picastella was quick to point out that forecasting is particularly tricky right now given the unpredictability of the market. Just two months ago, Marcus Research First New Zoo said the game industry would grow this year to $200 billion. The game industry will survive and likely thrive soon enough. While some companies are being hit harder than others, the econom economic downturn may only cause a temporary slowdown for the game industry before it returns to growth in 2023. Gaming might not see a growth period as dramatic as 2020 for a very long time, but the steady expansion of the industry over the last decade from around 90 billion in 2020 in 2015 to more than 190 billion last year. Oh my gosh. Six years and it doubled. Just just this deep uh, this dip is uh, not too worrisome. Uh 2023 might be another boom year for gaming with a 
a staggering schedule of major releases across the board pending future delays and forecasts from Microsoft and Sony suggest hard hardware supply constraints may be brought under control. Even so, the year will end well ahead of pre-pandemic performance and the outlook for the sector as a whole remains positive. With growth forecast to return in 2023, Harding rolls for nice. So there you go, man. I mean, that kind of that kind of says a lot uh including stadia it didn't include stadia on there at all but uh they did mention small uh, platforms and large platforms so uh yeah everybody's everybody's feeling the squeeze everybody i mean i if i am yeah i know everybody is uh what do you guys think about that let's see i think second quarter next year will be big for stadia because of the portion port, porting tools i agree i think that's i think that's what we're waiting for i i'm pretty sure the pandemic hitting when it hit uh, all the game delays, all the develop, all the gaming develop, uh, all the gaming. Oh my gosh! All the gaming de developers having to like work from home, not be able to travel. All those things affected everything, and it was just bad timing. You know, I don't think Stadia is too early to be out. I think the timing was off because of of the pandemic.